Hey, yo, peace, family. This is Lord Jamal for the Not A Mean Godcast. And if you watch the Godcast, you know my number one sponsor is Miracle Food. That's right, Miracle Food, the perfect cleanse and reboot for a healthy immune system. And in these times, you know a healthy immune system is very important. It's also anti-inflammatory. Miracle Food has moringa, uh, black seed oil, beetroot oil. It also contains CBD. Miracle Food is just what it says. Miracle Food. Brought to you by my brother, the Chakra Doctor. So this is a Black-owned company, y'all. We promote Black-owned companies here on the Godcast. Okay, so go to ChakraDoctor.org and get your Miracle Food today. Tell them Lord Jamal sent you. Peace. <laughs> Turn the neighborhood into the Bay of Pigs Kidnap the fathers and enslave the kids Now they poison in the water that they gave the kids He ran from the cops so they sprayed his wind We gon' turn the precinct to the Bay of Pigs Saw the crib like that's the way you live Loaf of bread, bacon soda, sitting in the fridge My melanin garners hatred, it's sacred Hussein Boat, I'm too swift for the races Drugs change the house structure See my uncle smoke rocks downstairs Now the attic is in the basement uh, dialoguing with Nasir, is that it? With Nasir, with sensitive. He said, something don't you fool shaking my head. What y'all think about the alphabet people making Tupac pride shirts? Hmm. We could talk about this the other day. Yeah, you were on your uh, what you it's, think? Uh, me and Hardy Stacks. Are they? <laughs> Did you see that? Fans? The the the, the so supposedly the Tupac estate put out a, a collection of T-shirts and hoodies and stuff that are in celebration of Pride Month, and you and it says changes, and it's all in rainbow colors, and they have. A picture of Tupac's face and it's in rainbow and yeah, and it says changes Tupac at the bottom. I don't get, I don't understand it. I just well, don't understand why they put Tupac. I mean, not on, it's not on going against them being, I mean, but what, what was that for? To it's, it's about it's influence. Tupac, it's Tupac's clothing line. Like, you know, it's his estate, oh. like his, it's like his merch, you know, it's mm -hmm. part of, of his estate. So, I guess to capitalize on Pride Month, they they released oh, the. I mean, what well, that fuck it, you know, they're fans, shit. Right. I just, I just wonder, you know, people take these liberties once you're dead and all this type of shit. Oh, Is yeah. this something that Tupac would have done while he was alive? I don't know. I don't, you know, I, mean, don't know. I, I say probably not. Um, do you think? But, but let me let me ask you this, Lord. I mean, do you do you think that's something that could be sanctioned, like without his family and his estate's permission? Like you think? Yeah, I think first of all, his mother's passed. Who's around really to protect him right now? Right. Who, oh yeah. Who is around? Who is the estate? I don't yeah, know. Who who's who running it? Lawyers, for all we know. The uncle who's running um, it? The record don't company. necessarily feel like it's people that love him. And if it is people that love him, don't feel that these are people that can't be manipulated into doing certain things that that he wouldn't necessarily be <laughs> manipulated into. I don't know. Um, yeah, I can't. I can't speculate who runs his estate. I mean, I. Mostly, yeah, before I would have said it was his mother, and, and while his mother was alive, if she did something like this, you know, we would have had to look directly at her. But now she's passed on. So who really? He ain't. You know. Who is it? Who is the no. Tupac estate? That's a good question of who sanctioned this. I'd like to know that. Yeah. And, um, and then just, yes, again, the question is all I'm asking is, would Tupac have sanctioned this if he was alive? Was it? Would his mother have sanctioned it if she was alive? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Just, just, just questions to run up the flagpole, you know? And my, my answer is I would assume no. And so if they wouldn't do it while he was alive, then please don't do things like this when, when I'm not. You see what I'm saying? 
and mm -hmm. use my name and likeness to promote something that I wouldn't have promote that I wouldn't have agreed with. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. So, and I don't yeah. think any yeah, of maybe, us maybe, want maybe that. One our, maybe one of our viewers can Google right quick. Who <laughs> look that? Is that a Googleable question? Who runs Tupac? Yeah, that's a fact checker rage. Rest in peace, yeah. fact Aww. checker rage. He, he would have been looking this up right now. <laughs> probably know the, he would probably know the answer already. Oh, he knows the answer now. He, he, knows, got, all, he knows all answers now. You gonna call him on yeah. speed dial. See, we gotta meditate now in order to call him. Mm -hmm. that rage. Yeah, that's shit. That's uh who runs the estate rage. They they, they start oh, the how about the uh what is it, the Juneteenth joint? I could hear him say, I think it's his sister. It's a holiday now. Spike, I mean, um, Joe Biden, like, signed the Juneteenth. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Since okay. he ain't did, he wasn't doing shit. He was He's doing like, shit for everybody else. He was like, let me fake give black people something, and I'm yeah, going to give y'all a holiday this June, this Juneteenth. We, ain't go, we still ain't going to give y'all no reparations or even really Nothing. truly speak about it out loud. Um... But here, 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 here you go. Here, Juneteenth. Yeah, take happy? that shit. And, 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 and think about what Juneteenth represents. Like, they was taking advantage of these fucking slaves out in Texas because the, the news didn't get to them yet. Mm -hmm. They was dealing with the lack of information. You see, they was benefiting from the lack of information of these slaves and were still allowed to to uh exploit these motherfuckers until finally the news trickled over to them wait a minute we're not slaves no more right like, you know, that shit happened months ago like <laughs> and, and the white people knew it wasn't like the the, the black people well, you know everybody just got the you, news the white people already knew do you think white people gonna let them go if they don't know right so that's what i'm saying somehow you know, so now we celebrating the fact of uh, the time of when I've been hoodwinked. Imagine, yeah. the, imagine this lady like, wait a minute, I've been hoodwinked. <laughs> I've been straight in front of my You've been bamboozled. You've been um, bamboozled. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> think about it. Um, that's some, that's some shit. And now we got to celebrate. You know. The fact that we caught them in their trick, like in another fucking lie, like totally off topic. Uh, Godfrey, your background is like killing right now. That sky, I know now your sky is even sexy. Like, it was it's like, before. yeah, like you're what fucking fuck? oh my, whoa, oh my goodness, panorama. <laughs> Can we get a panorama view? Hey, sexy oh, sky. Look at this. Uh oh, uh oh, this he's stunning. He's stunning. He's trying, look, he's trying to get that's that's come on over to my crib, ladies. You got that's messed up. You got a uh, uh, floor to ceiling windows, and your peoples can't even get on Twitter right now. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, that's a nice that's a nice look. Shout out Del Monte Green Beans again. He said, Jedi Master Lord Jamar. What would white people do or say after 30 years if we exited this country? Oh. What would they say? They said no. Yeah, they would be upset. <laughs> Nobody be at the basketball. We act like, wait a minute, y'all act like y'all didn't want us around. What the fuck you crying and screaming no for? We need y'all for a hell of a lot. Well, they need they need us for their existence of hatred. They they yes. like their, we where need they're you sounding. To fuel more. our self esteem. Right. They need we to need feel you. like yeah. To know what's cool, we need you to fucking yeah. Um, we need you to to, to 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 vampirize your your energy. Yes. No, don't yeah. go. I think we should all leave so they can all fight each other, and then we'll come back. You know what I mean? Why well, we gotta leave? We built this motherfucker. Yeah. Shout no, out no. To no I'm some real shit. Here, shout out to Tulsa. I'm wearing a Tulsa Greenwood. Okay. Tulsa, Tulsa. You know, right Black, this is what we did when, when we went about our own business and did Black Wall Street, and they fucked that up. That's right. And I'm rocking the United Me Godcast. That's dope. United Me Godcast. That's, 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 that's,
That okay. dope right there, son. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I like yeah. this shit, Jen. You know what I mean? good shit. about it. chunky. That's you're chunky Yeah, you're not feeling good about it. You know what I mean? You can always go to get some Godcast brand new and get www.hoodgee.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get that so, shit right there. Go get that shit right there. Go get you one of these damn hoodies. You know what I mean? You got the shit on the sleeve and shit. You know yeah, you I, need, I, need my, I need my new Godcast yeah, apparel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, we're going to get I your can't... package. You got to make sure you put that shit on. Sure. Well, <laughs> well, I don't, well, don't do me a favor. Don't send me no hoodies because it's 100 degrees where I'm at. <laughs> it's 96. <laughs> Degrees in the shade where I'm in. Well, you need some. You need some. You need some feminine type T-shirts too, like for the ladies. Oh no, they make. Oh no, no, we got those. We got all of those. Come on, we got all that. We got the same thing. All right, girl, we got go check it on their website www.hoodie.com. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, so um, I don't know, man. These motherfuckers are starting to panic. They're starting to get there, and I heard we're still waiting on. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, hang on. We oh, have that's a some, whole lot of things we're still we have some detective for. work. Shout out to the detective work. Uh, Deja, uh oh, hang on, hang on. Deja, Deja says, head of Tupac Estate, Tom Wally, the head uh -oh. of Loma Vista Recordings, who uh -oh. worked with the rapper while he was at Interscope. Now, uh, somebody Google. Tom Wally. Uh oh. It's, it's a white man. I'm of like, if course, I had no. if I had to guess, <laughs> had to guess, guess what race it is. <laughs> it's a white Tom man. Wally. You know what would be fucking great? <laughs> <laughs> you know what would be great? <laughs> what if Wally. what if what if we did? What, what if, if we uh, did? well I well I, Wally, I think that's a great five idea. Five month collection. Yeah, we can do a Tupac Pride Month collection. I think that would be so in tune with what's going on out here today. What do you think, Godfrey? Well, uh, well, uh, well, I think it's a, it's a bright idea, man. We're including now, all I wonder, different people. That I'm just, Tom Wally. Wally, 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 Wally. That's a good idea. Yeah, I think that would be a smart idea. I wonder, I wonder if he's older because one of the things I noticed too, like a lot of the corporate heads that are older, you know, a Thank lot of them, a, a lot of them be conservative. So then they get what they call these new young fresh faces and it'd be the new young fresh faces that'd be like, oh, well, you know, we need an app. You got to do this. You got to include the, the LGB. You got to, you know, I feel like it, it's like the new generation of people that are like coming into businesses now and i guess uh updating everyone or 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 giving the you know giving the older head you know get the one like they're older they're not dealing with technology so now the younger ones come in with all this new you know innovative stuff and i feel like that's happening a lot too hold up real quick once one again shout out thank you again del monte green beans but so he says, after 30 years of us gone, these white people would most likely declare war on us after we refuse to return. Oof. Hold up, hold up, hold up. They already declared war right, on right, us. Right, right, right. Not right. Green beans. That's what a lot of people don't understand. Yeah. They've already declared yeah. war on us. Mm -hmm. So stop thinking that, that you know, oh right. my goodness. But I hear what you're saying. But nah, war has been declared. Oh yeah, that's why all this shit does, that happens happens. Why do you think we're all fucked There's up? There's a it's war going on right outside. No black man, woman, and child is safe from. Hell no. Mm -hmm. Yep, there they go again. Um, they said I found Tom Wally, the head of Loma Vista Recordings, Tupac Estate. Uh huh. And yeah. they said, and here goes somebody else. Tom Wally hey, is confirmed as a, as white, a man. white man. <laughs> that sounds about white. That sounds about. <laughs> that sounds about white. <laughs> now, <laughs> do you see what I'm saying? What you know? Do you see how initially, Digger, you was feeling like, well, wouldn't his estate? You know what I mean? Have control over that? Wouldn't that be a loved one or something like that? No, 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 not necessarily. You know what I mean? Especially after you passed, you might have had debts, all kind of shit. All of a sudden, your shit 
just lands in the lap of somebody who fucking purchased a foreclosure type of thing or whatever. And now you own somebody's fucking estate or whatever. And, and, a, and, a, and unfortunately, a lot of, uh, you know, we, we don't think wills are necessary. Like all, all of these, all of the new young black millionaires that we have now, I'm, all of these rappers that you hear and getting killed every single day, I guarantee none of them are thinking like, I need to make a will. Right. Like imagine, I, I'm not sure exactly what's the antithesis of Digger. Let's just say you know there's a organization out there that specifically is i don't know that works against female mcs or some shit like that you know what i mean like and now in the future you mean lord jamar <laughs> <laughs> oh i think i will look at the i think i will look at the uh, the, the skyline <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Damn, damn. I mean, that was a fastball right down the place, people, boy. not just an individual. <laughs> <laughs> right. Digger, digger, digger had the bat ready like oh, thank you. Thank Wait, you. I need I need the uh, <laughs> I'll be here all oh, night. Yeah. Okay, but hey, uh yeah, these people <laughs> listening on a private server from like Egypt. Why? Right, thank you. Wow, and Chad, greetings yeah. from Bakar Bidon clan of South Egypt, and Chad. We're listening on a pirate server. Wow, that's dope. respect. Thank that's you. Um, Shala, Shala. but but I'm just saying, I right, there's a there's an organization that's out there that's against <laughs> Wait, female yeah. MCs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Lord Jamar Foundation. Against the female <laughs> MCs. Uh, imagine, imagine, just they used your face digger to promote like the Ku Klux Klan or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> <laughs> the Wait, Lord Jamal is, Foundation is, 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 is of on female MCs. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Oh, oh, I see that. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord Jamar Foundation against female oh. <laughs> LJFAF. <laughs> <laughs> and the LJFAF was born. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank Damn. you, Erica. Woo, we needed that. That was, that was hilarious. Yeah, I'm I'm even getting hot off that one. That was my makeup. Uh, <laughs> damn you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Saying. Finish your so point. Imagine you were now the the face of the LJFAF. Okay. Like imagine we made T-shirts with Digger as the face of the LJFAF after you passed away. <laughs> that you know, would you be happy about that? You'd be like, yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? My face on a face. Why do you got my face on the LJ? I never supported the LJFF. When I was Actually, alive. you know what? The, no, this is what would happen. There will be a driver that will come up that would appear on 2020, like 10 years from now. New exclusive. You know, they really never did fuck with them hoes. <laughs> there would be like, there would be the driver that overheard me. Like, you know, right. Versus as whack as fuck in the right. car. Really <laughs> they would much. come with all the they would come with all the exclusive behind the scenes commentary. <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just saying no, nobody I got you. Yeah. Like so, like in all seriousness, I'm sure no, the, absolutely. the real the real you know the real Jesus or Yeshua, Yeshua, whatever you his name was, you know, he probably sees images of him on a cross and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, like a right. cross? Like, like, that's not, you know. But there's a whole lot of fucking liberties that get taken after somebody passed away. You know what I mean? And I think that's what this speaks to, you know. Yeah. I mean, maybe he would have, you know, agree with it, but we'll never know. You know what I mean? Like, we'll never know. And now it's out there, and we know, and now we know that Tom Wally, the white man, um, 
is the one behind this. And this is not someone who who loved him like, <coughs> you know what I mean? Like a family right. member. Right. This guy just said, oh, I was close with Pac. Me and Pac had a lot of um, times together. Man, yeah, whatever. You're Tom the white man from the record company. And trust me, you know, you're not going to have his best interests at heart the way, you know what I mean? A, a true family member would have his best yeah. interests at heart. So there's your answer, people. Uh, Tom Wally put that out there and put our brother's name on the shit. Oh, hang on. They said, oh, here's more um, info. Thank you, Dialogue with Nasir. He said, Tom Wally is 48, was behind the scenes of Interscope, signed big artists like Tupac and Wallflowers, was instrumental in the career of the Beastie Boys. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So he's 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 a millionaire who's just making arbitrary moves. I wonder. Oh, I wonder. Is Tom Wally gay? I don't know. Mm. Keep digging. <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep looking into this guy. I'm just wondering. More importantly, are the Shakur descendants profiting off of his moves? Mm. Right. Mm. Did Tupac have children? I don't think so. Not that we know of. Okay. Not that we know of. He said, I'm afraid to have a baby. Gotta get mad. Make you gotta get drunk. Part of me that's always shady. I can't feel it. I got to believe it. People selling my t shirt with the gay stuff. <laughs> I didn't know about got it. Got the rainbows and shit. Fuck is you Fuck doing? They doing my shit. <laughs> Fucking Tom Wally. Tom Wally. Got a smack mm -hmm. white boy in his face <laughs> for my wallet. <laughs> I didn't fucking know. He was just a guy from the record store. That's right. I wrote this song a long time ago. A long time ago. <laughs> we was never friends, nigga. I got to come and pull the trigger on motherfuckers selling my shit, nigga. Sometimes, somehow he got my contract. <laughs> I want my fucking life back. Uh, uh, uh. Go uh, okay, mm. that's a bar. That's a bar. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> Tom Wally. This Tom Wally. So hopefully, Black Black Dow said, hopefully the young rappers pay attention to what is going on and learn from watching those that came before them. Legacy matters. <laughs> yeah, right. I agree. 